behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Hi guys, another Geek123 here. So today's video I will be going through the development of Sonic Heroes, a 2004 video game. So let's get into it. The game was developed by the 19 member Sonic Team USA in San Francisco for the series 12th anniversary. Development was led by producer Yuji Naka and director Taish Taki. Takeshi Izuka, sorry uh, for the wrong pronunciation. Um, it also lasted 20 months, which is a year and 8 months in, well, if you look at it in the year perspective. Izuka, at the start of development, didn't want to create a sequel to Sonic Adventure 2, since it would only appeal to Sonic fans. They eventually decided to make a new game, which would turn out to be this one where it can make casual players adapt to the usual Sonic playstyle. Izuka also really wanted to film uh, this video game and, um, and suffered a lot from it because Sega management kept pushing deadlines and even one of his members became ill. So he did his own work, other person's work and make sure everyone else was doing their part. And then by the end of it all he lost 22 pounds and suffered from insomnia. It shows how much dedicated he was, but uh, just a shame that he suffered from this to try and make this game. Sonic Heroes was also the first multi platform Sonic game. It was made for GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. The Sonic team partnered with Kation Software to use their renderware game engine so the game could be programmed and ported to with ease to each platform. Most models of the characters were reused, uh, I mean some models were reused from the Sonic Adventure games, but most of them were made from scratch. Sonic Team also found challenges with working with the PlayStation 2 and Xbox, since it was their first time working with them. Izu Izuka and Naka also refused to do the trend that started around then and it's still actually a thing now which is exclusive content and it's especially a thing with PlayStation 4 now but I won't get too much into that this was to make all players have the same experiences which again I just said I'm not going to get into it but I agree with that now in 2019 um, Sonic Team was also interested in making Sonic Heroes story to make the characters to team up to stop people since the Sonic Adventures game made them split up for their own adventures. The KO rise raising system was also removed due to um, changing the pace of the game a lot. To also improve the replay value, the grading system in the game was made more difficult, so players would play, replay it until they got the perfect score. The Chaotix, who appeared in the spin-off game, from 1995 Knuckles Chaotix if you are interested in that game um, I have made a video of it in the past about that development um, yes shameless plug there guys um, were riveted uh, I mean revived even by the game because they were unique to the team and they wondered why they never used them again in the past Zuka said that they would still have their same look and powers but their characters would be a little different from his choice. The game also debuts E123 Omega to the series. It also has seven popular animated cutscenes provided by Vision Scare Interactive. So, sorry about the notification, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Just put it back on there, but it's fucking annoying, I'm sorry. <laughs> June Sino also composed once again. His band Crush 40 from the main theme Sonic Heroes. The final boss theme, What I'm Made Of. Ted Pauly, uh, Tony Harnell, Kay Hanley, and Gunnar Nelson also helped with the soundtrack. Naka believed 
that a Sonic themed Happy Meals for McDonald's and an anime series Sonic X would expose the franchise to a new generation of gamers. Our Tanker Happy Meal Kai, our McDonald's is Sega Games Live. Dead Sucker! Sonic Skateboard! Rogue and Emmy Tennis! Dream Puff Flower Catch! Shadow Basketball! Knuckles Baseball! जी भर कर फिर खेलें, खूब हल्ला गुल्ला मचाएं और दोस्तों को भी पतलाएं। चलो चल कर हैप्पी मील खाएं। चलो चले मिक्डॉनल से सेका गेम्स लाएं। I don't know how I got here, but I gotta find a way to get out. Hey. Did you see what I just saw? I think I did, but I wish I didn't. The game was released in Japan on December 30th, 2003. The GameCube version was released in America on January 6, 2004. Uh, followed by the Xbox and PlayStation 2 versions on January 27, 2004. The European version came out on February 2nd, 2004. The Windows version was released on November 22nd, 2004 in America and came out in Europe on November 26. The game also added digital to the PlayStation 3 on February 22nd, 2012 for the PS2 Classic Star. So guys, that was the uh, development of Sonic Heroes. Uh, I'm not, I think I like the playstyle of Sonic. Uh, Adventure 1 and 2 a little more than some of the normal um, Sonic games in the future, well the future generation of it. Um, this game was good but and I remember the Sonic X TV series a lot. That TV series, I think, I'm not exactly too sure about trivia about that but I might make a video eventually about it. But I'm pretty sure that lasted way longer than the game did. And it eventually grew out to be its own thing, which I did watch a few times when I was a kid. And I don't keep McDonald's toys from when I'm a kid, and I don't have many toys from when I was a kid. Um, but um, I think I, remember, I was only like two years old when the toys came out, but I'm pretty sure I remember like, I don't know, my cousin having a Sonic toy, but it could have been from a different game. Um, so yeah, that was the, the development, um, the game's pretty good to me, again, I prefer the adventure game, so what are your opinions on the game guys? Please comment down below, or go to my most recent tweet at anothergeek1231, and if you want to talk anything nerdy, superhero wise or video game wise, please go to my discord, the link is always in the description. So thank you guys for watching. Hold up.